Hi everyone, this is Peter. Today I want to introduce you is the uh, PIX 260i. And uh, some devices have uh, sev uh, different recorder, for example, like the, uh, the, the 240 and also the 220i. And then the difference in between maybe a them is um, the 220 and the 240 is actually made or designed for maybe hanging on to uh, next to the uh, camcorder. And then the PIX 260 is the first rack-based and the desktop-based uh, recorder. So other than the difference on, on, uh, on the usage, and then there are several different ways and then maybe in between each other. So I will only uh, maybe mention about the difference on the 260, but if you want to have more information about like some functions on the uh, 260, please refer to my review on the 240. So I will separate into different parts. First is the outlook and also the connections of the 260. And the other thing is the, uh, is the functions which is uh, uh, special, which is only on the 260. So, let's go in it. Hi, I'm actually inside the uh, PIX 260. So, this is the front panel on the 260. And then you see there is, uh, they got like the four main buttons, which is same as the 240, and uh, which is the audio menu files and the LCD. So, for example, like if you want to set the audio, and then you can just like go into the menu and then set uh, all the stuff that you want, and then you go to the menu to set everything, go to the file, and then to play back your, uh, your shots. And then other than that, you got like the uh, uh, the keyboard inside button, and then you can just like maybe type maybe some word thing on onto uh, into the PIX 260, and then you got the uh, normal button like play, stop, recording buttons, and then which is very simple and very similar to the 240. And then when I open it, the um, um, the front panel, and then you will see that is inside you got like two slot, which you can put two of the uh, of the uh, caddy with the SSD or spin hard drive onto the, into the uh, PIX 260. So just right now. So I put one of them and then maybe this time put on the top. And then you will see a light button up and then, okay, you see me again. And then you see the, uh, the hard disk is actually now recognized by the uh, 260. So you see the, the front panels uh, and also the function is pretty easy and straight going. Okay, so at the back on the uh, PIX 260, so you got like the uh, SDI in out and the HDMI in out, and then at the same time, this time because it just got the bigger panel, so you got like a, a separate time code in and out, and then the thing in and out too. So other than that, and then you also got the uh, um, the the com port uh, connections on the uh, on the audio, which is the uh, the line in, line out, and also that the uh, AES uh, in and out too. So um, it's more convenience and the audio. And and underneath you got two eSATA connection, which you can put on some like external eSATA like. Uh, hard disk, hard drive, for example, like the Lassier or maybe a Western Digital or other light spin hard drive. But make sure you buy, you go to the uh, uh, sound device website and then to check which kind of external hard drive is actually like approved by them and then it will be much better. And other than that, you got like the, uh, um, the XLR out, in and out and then at the underneath here, you, we got the, um, the LAN connections. But uh, you see that is a secondary and primary just because like, okay, in, in case if one of the connections is just go off and then you can have like a secondary to recover the primary. So that's why that the other two ports is actually one of the, is the main and the other is the backup.